Fight number 16. We're doing it to bless these people. Let's have a look at the journey of Tony Warren and Aaron McNee. My name is Tony Warren. I'm 31 years old and uh, I'm a licensee salesperson for Ray White Dental Group. My name is Aaron McNee. I'm 30 years old and I'm a marine engineer in the Navy. I wanted to do Les Mills Fight Night because, like many people in New Zealand, uh, I've had friends and family that are impacted by cancer. I wanted to do Fight Night because it's a good cause. Also, there's a personal journey in it, you know, but ultimately it's a good cause. It's good to help others. My little bit of pain in the ring and, uh, and outside of it in training is, is absolutely nothing in comparison to what other people go through. So I'm fighting a guy named Tony. He's a southpaw, so I think his strategy will be to use that against me. And I think it will be one of the more energetic fights of the night. No matter the outcome, if I walk in with my head high and walk out with my head high, then I've done my best, haven't I? Fighting out of the red corner, Tony! The Warhammer Warren. Tony Warren, he is a Southport. He works in real estate, 31 years of age, 173 centimeters tall. Weighs in at the world weight limit of 67. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. It is Aaron TNT McNee. And Aaron McNee, they call him TNT, he's a marine technician. Works for the Royal New Zealand Navy. He's pretty technical with his boxing. He's Here been around we go. It An association with Ray Dummerell Group and the Thor Construction. An Introducing fight. It firstly is out of the red corner, the 31 evening. years of age. He's a real estate agent with Ray White and Ponsonby. Tip the scales, all the sixes, 66.6 kg. He is the Warhammer. He is Tony Warren. His opponents, Marine Technician for the Royal New Zealand Navy, 30 years of age. Tipped the scales at already 69.3 kilos. Look at his supporters all coming up ringside, ready to lift the roof on this place. He is Aaron TNT. McNee! Your referee, Jeff Nelson. Special thanks to Ray Dunnerill Group and the Thor Construction Team. And Jeff Nelson's giving both boys their instructions centre ring. Tony Warren, the Warhammer, the Southport, wearing the rival headgear, black and grey. Aaron McNee, also all in black, but he is minus the headgear. Starting off with a southpaw jab. The power hand is the left hand coming from the rear. McNee looks the more heavily muscled of the two. That lead left hand from Warren, nice uppercut, straight right hand. Both boys have a little bit of technique about their punching. Long, sticky jab off the right hand from Warren. McNee wants to get on the inside. He's eating that left hand. He's just trying to find his range for that. Although that was a nice combination as he backed up Warren. He's got to find a way to nullify the left hand. He's physically the stronger of the two. Flurries away on the inside. Quite methodical Warren. Doubles up on the jab. Goes with the left hand. McNeat. More frenetic. He's quicker. Probably a little more impatient. But he's eating a few too many of those left hands that are straight.
Doubling up on that left hand nicely, Warren. It's a very effective weapon for him, the Southport. Quite confusing. He'll only fight a couple of them over the course of a career often. McNee now getting on the inside. Just forearming Warren down to the ground. Warren lands a nice left hook on the inside. End of round one. Well, he's got plenty of heart. He wasn't put off by the aggression of Aaron McNee. Potentially a hard round to score. I'd go for the cleaner shots of Tony Warren from the Southport. Nice straight left hand that he throws. McNee, he did land some nice flurries, but nothing really too flush. Warren on by, by the same token, despite getting pushed to the ground, was able to land quite a few clean left hands straight down the pipe. And once again, this is our 16th fight of the evening. We're about to head into the second round. It's fight night 13. The WCB White Collar Boxing League that Les Mills has now had established. Seconds out, round number two. For just over a decade. Three by two minute rounds. Tony Warren in the headgear in the southpaw stance, although he ate a couple of nice clubbing shots there. Referee just needs to wipe the gloves, make sure there's no dust on them. McNeese started well there. Now he's gone back to his corner giving him some advice on how to handle the southpaw. That body shot hurt, Warren. Felt that. I told him to go downstairs and come back upstairs. McNeese starting extremely well. Nice lead right hand. He's found his rhythm now. Doubling up on the jab, right hook. And Warren's in trouble. He's eaten a couple of heavy shots. McNeese picked up the pace. Now Warren coming back. Plenty of intent from both boys. McNeese started extremely well in the second round. Warren more methodical. He perhaps just needs to fake a little bit more. McNeese now onto his game plan with the southpaw. Another right hook over the top of the left hand. Warren though sticks to what he knows. McNeese no, now just bollocking forward. Looks to have his measure in terms of punch volume and power. Although that was a nice hook from the southpaw over the top. When he finds his range with that, it's a very effective weapon. Tony Warren in the headgear, landing another left hand. As Aaron McNee tires, 13 seconds to go in the round. It's been McNee's round for the most part. And he's done his best work when he's managed to get Warren against the ropes. Although that was a riveting left hand, narrowly missed. And around two. Well, if the Warren Byron won the first round, McNee certainly won the third. For the presentation at the conclusion of this fight. I suspect it'll be even Stevens heading into this third round. It was a very good round from Aaron McNee. He counted the southpaw stance. He landed some good effective right hands. And he got control of the lead hand jab of Tony Warren. Very methodical though, the Warhammer Tony Warren. He knows what works for him. He knows he's got a good left hand. And he uses it well. But Aaron McNeese should go back to his corner. Feeling like he has the measure of his man now. Let's see if Tony Warren changes up his game plan. Warren looking to start forward. He's starting more aggressively. Another straight left. Trying to 
Mouthguard looks to have popped out of McNee after that initial flurry. Pops the mouth guard back in and we're underway. McNee now clubbing forward with that right hand of his, trying to use his superior strength. Body shots there again, that hurt. Warren is really hurt up against the ropes now. He's trying to find a way to fire back. He's just being suffocated by Aaron McNee. Look for the left uppercut on the inside. Now he's firing back, doubling up on his left hand. Really loading up at this point. Missed the opportunity to counter with a straight left. Tough, both these boys. Maybe corporate boxing, but there's plenty of heart there. Both boys throwing some big shots. And the technique's gone out the window. 40 seconds, seconds to go. Remaining. Now Warren for the Warhammer. looking to and leverage. He's had the measure of McNee for part of this round. Still everything on it. Nice straight right hand from McNee. Seesawing bout. Toe to toe, these two boys. 24 seconds to go. Everything still very much on the line. A lot of wrestling there, McNee. Looks a little bit more fatigued. Warren too. He's worked hard. He needs to land a big shot. Nice counter right hand from McNee. Five seconds, seconds to go in the round. Good comeback from Ten Warren. Seconds. Oh, and McNee comes back, finishes the round with some straight rights. Both boys toe to toe to the very end. A superb bout. It's almost an injustice that there will have to be a decision. I suspect it'll go the way of McNee, but very close indeed. McNee started the third round well, but the Warhammer, Tony Warren, he worked his way back in, landed a lot of heavy shots, and McNee probably landed the combinations that counted in the final 15 seconds. Special thanks to Ray Dunwell Group and the Thor Construction for supporting this fight. Everybody knows it now, they left Judges, scorecards are in. Byron's ready to present the belts. Here we go, judges, scorecard. Judge one scored the fight 29 28. Judge two scored the fight 30 28. Judge three scored the fight 30 to 29. Your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue corner. Well, that Mr. was a fair decision. Aaron McNee came back strongly after losing the first round, but it was a, a compelling bout, very evenly matched between both boys and one that could quite easily go for a rematch. Let's catch up with uh, Tony Warren, the Warhammer. <laughs> Put it on reverse, love it. Come here, Tony, well, what an effort. Mate, you look fresh, you could have got another round maybe. Oh, he's, uh, he's fitter than he looks. Mate, you covered some real estate tonight. Boy, he was toe to toe. He's like a pit bull terrier. Just keep coming. That's the one. I, uh, I think we've both got a bit of aggression and uh, a bit of fitness, so it makes for an entertaining fight, hopefully. Yeah, you've lost a bit of weight. You're in the 60 kilogram division, mate. You've really trimmed up for this. What's been the experience like for you? Actually, I put it on, and it's all thanks to uh, Jester's Pies. <laughs> mate, who do you want to thank? So uh, I'd like to thank Trent and all the team at Canteen for, uh, for being amazing, giving me something to, uh, something to work towards and aim towards. So thanks very much, guys. All my, uh, all my family and friends here tonight and those passing their support from overseas, everyone that's helped me fundraise, thanks a lot. Well done, mate. Ray White, Ponsonby, be proud of you, mate. Tony Warren, ladies and gentlemen, the Warhammer.
He had some massive crowd support tonight, TNT. They're on their feet, barking all the whole night. One of the most popular figures tonight, TNT, McNee. Man, how awesome is it to have all that support? Amazing. Can't believe it. They were so vocal throughout. Did you know that you'd won the fight? Nah, I, I thought it was, I don't know, <laughs> it was hard. There's a lot going through your mind at the moment. Mate, you've helped bless a lot of people. We're hoping to raise 70 grand tonight. Who do you want to thank? Uh, thank my opponent, Tony, first. Then my coach, Terry. Then we wouldn't be able to do it without him. The canteen members for, you know, the whole reason done this. And then uh, obviously my support. The Westies and the Navy and my uncle and cousin. Congratulations, mate. Massive support. Thanks for helping bless those people from Canteen, Mr. TNT McNeil. What a.